Welcome back. It is time to play our weekly game. It's called What's It Worth? We ask antiques expert Dr. Lori the value of three items chosen from the PTL mailbox. And with Thanksgiving just two days away, you could bet today's theme is serving up some holiday flavor. Dr. Lori, we're starting with a plate, and this one was sent in by Andrea. Happy early Thanksgiving to you. Happy Thanksgiving. I'm thankful for all of you. We're thankful for oh, you, Dr. Lori. Oh, we're thankful for you, yeah. All right, so talk to us about this plate because everything has a turkey theme this week, is that right? Yeah, well, you know, we're in the mood, right? So this particular piece is from Staffordshire, England. Staffordshire near Stoke-on-Trent, not far from Shakespeare's house. Eight inches in diameter. It's a transferware plate, which means that the, the image is actually transferred onto the ceramic during the um, during the production process. This particular plate dates from the early years of the 20th century. Okay. I like it. Well, it, and would this be something that collectors would be after, or is this just sort of like a, a kitschy fun kind of thing? Staffordshire is very desirable. A lot of collectors look for it. Um, these are cabinet plates because you're not supposed to eat on a plate right. that has all of this decoration. It's just for nice, as my mother would say. Mm. <laughs> Okay. okay. No food on it, just for display or on your table when you make the table look pretty, and then those those dishes get swooped away before you eat. Okay, I have a number, but I think I went too high. But I don't oh, know. Oh, I see. I think I'm going too low. I said three twenty-five. I said one twenty-five. It's worth fifty-five dollars for one plate. Oh week. yeah. Really? <laughs> you said desirable by collecting. And I bought into it, Dr. Lori. I'm sorry, oh. darling. I didn't mean to put you off on a dance. Oh, no, I think I think your guidance was perfect, Dr. Lori. <laughs> I'm sure you did. Okay, next up we have a turkey, like a, an actual turkey. It looks like a real turkey well, set in little, by Jones. It's a little stuffed turkey uh, made by the Stike Toy Company. He's about five inches tall from the 1960s. He's tucky. You'll notice the Stife tag, tags and labels, very important. It wasn't just the Beanie Baby people who came up with this idea that you have to keep a tag on a little toy. It has a felt um, back. The feathers on the back are felt. It's plush and also, of course, very desirable as well, made by the German manufacturer for toys. Hmm. And so, like, how big a trendy thing was this back then like you know when we talk about beanie babies like this yeah. this so and it would still have uh, collectors would be after it today Stife was very very popular in the early part of the 1900s and made a big comeback in the 1950s and 60s and a lot of people wanted a Stife turkey for their display for their centerpieces at Thanksgiving so that is a desirable and collectible piece it is cute. Little though. It's Not any little. bigger than really this little turkey that's sitting here. Oh, with you me. have a little turkey right there. Uh, okay, I don't know. Yeah. I'm going. I'm going. Okay. Uh, Noises make me think better. Sorry. <laughs> Are you ready? Okay. I said sixty-five dollars. I went higher than that. I stuck with my one twenty-five. Worth seventy-five dollars. Heather's oh. very close. Okay, this is our make or break, oh. Dr. Lori. Make or break. And we have another turkey. This is a wooden one sent in by Vivian. How, yeah, Vivian sent in a piece of folk art, American folk art, by a well-known American folk artist named Bonnie Barrett. It's signed. It is, of course, the Thanksgiving turkey. And uh, this one is hand-painted. It's 25 inches by 25 inches. Mm. Roughly. And, and would this be something you'd put in your yard? Where would you put this? Well, uh, the person who took the picture put it in the yard probably to give me sunlight so I could see the photo, which is a good idea when you're submitting pictures for, for um, what's it worth. But typically that piece would be reserved for the home. It's an American folk art piece. A lot of people collect American folk art. Mm. See, she's doing that thing again. Yeah, where she builds it up and, yeah. you, don't, and you don't know. Is this, the, is this artist somebody that people would be after? Well-known yes. American folk artist, Bonnie Barrett. Uh, okay. All I right. know. Not All making right. it easier for you. <laughs> no, you're not. Should we go big with this? Would you say we should go big? Come on, David. Come on. <laughs> Give me a number. <laughs> okay. I said 120. I'm sticking with what sooner or later something's gonna be 125. I wrote it again. <laughs> 
$350. No. Prominent artist. Come on. No <laughs> kidding. Well, you said really? collector that before, and that threw me. So how many of those do exist? Like, how many of those would even be out there now? Oh, uh, um, she probably, you know, there's not, there are all original works of art, but she probably made a good number of turkeys. I would say she probably made 200 turkeys. Well, okay. David's heading Going into the holiday popular. break with a win. Yeah. Dr. Lori, you thank know what? you so much. And I'll, I'll say, it. say, it feels good. Yeah, good. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thanksgiving, everybody. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving, Dr. Lori. And thank you at home for sending us your pictures. You can send yours to Dr. Lori. Email us at pcl at Maybe yours will be chosen with a, for a future episode with Dr. Lori.